what's going on guys in this video i will show you the top 33 cda tweaks that works on ios 14 some of the tweaks has not been updated for ios 14 but it works good on ios 14 all right the first tweak we have here is icon tweak this is my favorite tweak because this tweak will give you a lot of options on icons how does this tweak work it's simple just swipe on icons up or down this is an icon tool alternative okay the next one is by protect xs this is one of the most popular cd tweaks ever protect your apps with touch id or face id or passcode enjoy the fastest and yet most secure protection okay the next one is action tweak Axon Tweak is priority hub for iOS 11, 12, 13, and iOS 14. This tweak should be installed on your device. This tweak will make the notifications in the lock screen look much better. Okay, the next one is Infinity Options. Guys, you need to install this tweak right now on your device. This tweak offers you many very useful options, especially fixing the pseudo problem in Cydia. I recommend you to install it right now. The next one is iCleaner Pro. This is the first real iOS system cleaner and optimizer. It removes unnecessary files from your device and allows you to tweak it to your liking. The next one is Filza File Manager. Powerful file manager for iOS. Flat design with best performance. Filza has to be one of the most powerful apps ever to come out of Cydia. Okay, the next one is Snowboard. Snowboard Tweak is a powerful theming engine allowing you to change the look of your iOS device. The Tweak was designed to handle all popular theming engines available for your device. Change notification badges, dock labels, home screen icons, and more. The next one is CC Modules and CC Modules Pro. You should install this tweak right now. CC Modules is a tweak that adds third-party app modules and utility modules to the iOS control center. The modules support 3D touch quick actions. There are more than 100 modules. The next one is Jellyfish. Inspired by the watchOS motion face, Jellyfish aims to make your lock screen more modern, more beautiful, and more useful. Okay, the next one is App Store Plus Plus. This tweak allows you to downgrade, upgrade apps in the App Store, block updates, bypass 200 megabyte download limit, disable search ads. The next one is Snapper 2. This tweak is one of the most important tweaks for me and I'm using this tweak since iOS 8. Snapper 2 is a tweak that lets you crop a portion of the screen and keep it floating on the screen. This tweak is very useful and it's one of my favorite tweaks. The next one is Pin Hits WhatsApp. Pin favorite chats in WhatsApp just like iOS 14. If you have seen how messages app on iOS 14 pins conversations and wish to have it in WhatsApp, this tweak is for you. The next one is What You Z2 for WhatsApp. What UZ brings a bunch of useful new features to WhatsApp, such as disable read receipts, select a limited number of thoughts to send, call recorder, customization of the app's user interface, and more. The next one is complications. Complications bring Apple Watch widgets to your iPhone lock screen. Each widget beautifully animations and updates throughout the day without sacrificing battery life. The next one is Color Banners 3. Customize your notifications on iOS 13 and iOS 14 with full dark mode support. You can specify light and dark mode settings individually and color banners will seamlessly swap between them when the dark mode state changes. The next one is YouTube Tools Tweak. YouTube Tools bring all the necessary patches needed for the daily YouTube user. Some features include Choose quality over 3G, 4G, no ads, disable related, suggested video pop up, 
and many more. The next one is YouTube Reborn. YouTube Reborn Tweak provides useful options to the stock YouTube app. Use this mode to disable video ads and enable background playback on your iOS devices, and many more features. The next one is SB Power Options. Get more options when shutting down your device. One of the distinctive tweaks that help the user to insert a device in safe mode, reboot, restart, and more. The next one is Cylinder. Cylinder is a tweak inspired by Barrel's tweaks. Cylinder tweak adds home screen animations. Cylinder tweak is a free iOS jailbreak tweak, refreshing the look of iOS home screen icons, adding new animations. Okay, the next one is Cozy Badges. Replace notification badges with sleek labels. This tweak removes the boring default badges that appear when you have a notification on an app and instead replaces it with colorful labels. The next one is Shuffle. If you look for the preferences for an installed tweak in the settings app or want to change something for an app you have to scroll really long, after installation of this free tweak Shuffle, you find three new tabs in the settings, Tweaks, Apps, and System Apps. The next one is Velvet Tweak, a new way to customize your notifications. Velvet is the notification tweak you were waiting for. Simple, yet highly customizable, individually customized banners, lock screen notifications, and media player without needing to respring ever. The next one is Short Moji. Short Moji adds quick access to emojis, pasteboard shortcuts to the stock keyboard. So simple to use. The next one is Perfect App Switcher. Grid switcher for iPhone. Disable killing of blank app. Swipe down to kill all apps and more features. Okay, the next one is Better Alarm. Better Alarm Tweak offers a bunch of customization options that give you full control over how the alarm and timer screens look. The next one is Tweak Compatible. Adds a way to check Tweak compatibility in Cydia. Click the search icon in the upper right on any package details page to see if the community has flagged your package as working with your running iOS version. The next one is Poltor Spring. Poltor Spring takes advantage of the settings menu by allowing you to respring your device by swiping down the menu. The next one is Swipe for More. This tweak provides options to manage CDA packages via swiping. Now you can install, reinstall, queue install, and queue remove packages easier. Okay, the next one is 5i Conduct. 5i Conduct is an extremely simple and lightweight tweak for your iDevice that allows you to have 5 icons on your dock. The next one is CC On Off. CC On Off is a simple jailbreak tweak allowing you to turn off Wi Fi and Bluetooth from iOS Control Center. It doesn't disable temporarily the settings, it turns them off. This tweak is compatible with iOS 11 up to iOS 14. There is another tweak with the same idea and with more features which is Real CC Tweak. Okay, the next one is DZ Hack in App Purchases. This tweak, like the local IAP store tweak, allows you to buy in app purchases for free. It works on iOS 10 up to iOS 14. The next one is 3D Badge Clear. 3D Badge Clear allows you to clear your badges from the Force Touch 3D Touch menu. 3D Badge Clear also keeps the menu clear, as it will only appear on apps or folders that actually have a badge. The last tweak we have here is Power App. This tweak allows you to reboot, respring, shut down, and refresh Springboard without mobile substrate. Alright guys, thanks for watching, peace.